Hi everybody, today's lesson is around about achieving great extraction on your coffee. Now what we find is that um, people aren't quite sure of whether it's the grind, it's the freshness of the coffee, is it the amount of coffee they're using. So this little um, video is about working out how to resolve some of the problems. Now here's one as they say I prepared earlier. So I've got down here a very very badly extracted cup of coffee, zero crema. Um, and I'll explain why that's the case. And here we have a really great extracted coffee, perfect crema on the coffee, and uh, using pretty much the same amount of ground coffee, but actually having very big issues with around the coarseness of the grind. So, how do we resolve these issues? So I've got a, a, a grinder setting here, and, and usually on grinders, different grinders have different ways of setting it. We have fine and coarse settings on here. This one has a little release mechanism. At the moment, it's almost out of its coarsest setting. You can see this little bar here. So this machine has just produced this awful zero crema coffee. So I know immediately I've got to try and slow that flow of water down to get a better extraction. So I'm going to pull this grinder back down to three. I'm going to see how that looks given what we got originally. So here we go. So I'm just going to remove initially some coffee which is incorrectly ground and we're now going to move into just get rid of any extra any bits and pieces there and now I'm going to see if we can get a better a better grind so we're dosing the right amount of coffee we're actually quite full in fact that's a little bit heavy so just knock a little bit away just dose the right amount of coffee and let's see if we can achieve a much better crema that way so over we go Let's see how this flows. Now, this flow is still quite quick. However, there's a big improvement in the crema compared to the first shot I pulled. So let's come back. Let's come back to that. Let's have a quick look here. So just by simply moving the grinding blades closer together, I've got a better extraction. So I've got zero, very, very limited extraction. My extraction is getting better. However, the extraction is still a little under extracted and you can tell that by the color of the crema the crema is quite light in shade, okay? So I'm gonna make an additional uh, correction now. So I'm gonna release my grinder and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see where we are when we go right the way down to one. Okay, so we're funneling in to get that perfect extraction. I knock the coffee away again. We start off again, we have a fresh setting. Note that I haven't changed the volume of ground coffee I've used. All I'm doing is changing the fineness of the grind to improve the extraction. So we come away again and let's see if that one slows, slows, right, slows down still further. And just quietly, still quite quick, we can still go a little finer on this one, but let's see what the color looks like when we pop that over and compare. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, but this is very quietly getting slightly thicker and slightly heavier in terms of extraction. And that's because the water and the coffee are in contact with each other for much longer, okay? So, to just as a, a summary on this little part of the video, I now need to go a little bit finer with the coffee, with the grinder, to get more extraction. And as I get more extraction, so the crema will uh, improve and we get a better tasting cup of coffee. Um, and that's really a quick way of improving the quality of the drink that you're about to produce.